it's raining. It's also Christmas, so I could not find anything for breakfast. This is after Christmas apocalypse. Today we start in the mountain town of Niba. It's a pretty remote village and then we go all the way through Kunyan, Ushpantan, all the way through Santa Cruz, Vera Pass, Koban and we arrive to Lankin here and we'll spend here a couple of nights. Hello people! A very good morning from the mountains of Guatemala. It's raining. It's also Christmas, so I could not find anything for breakfast. I'll come in. Come on. And I'm packing for another day. And I look like a balloon. <laughs> okay, so this side I need to access the room. Okay, so today it's gonna be a full day of fun riding. I hope rain is over soon, but I'm prepared for anything. Since I not only cracked a lens yesterday, but also my chin mount stopped working, you'll see another angle from my helmet today. I'm gonna have a top helmet mount. <laughs> oh, 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 yay! Hello! Okay, good to go. I was off to sleep early yesterday and it was pretty quiet. There were some people who were talking around the hotel and walking on the streets but there was not a lot of celebration but in the midnight I woke up because of very loud sounds it was crazy and there were so many fireworks and they they were for were going on for about half an hour and all the sky was in the fireworks that was just wow I am leaving the high mountain town of Nibach. I was staying in the hotel there and it was very cold at night. There was no heating and this is the best you can get in this area. So what I was thinking was like how do common people live here? How do they stay <coughs> warm at nights? And how much effort is it for them to do basic things like cooking, laundry or shower? Uh, today I will pass through a couple of towns and will spend a couple of nights in Lankin. Uh, there is a rough dirt option but I'll probably skip it today because of being solo and there is nobody around because of Christmas. Uh, people spend this day at home with their families. I can see nothing like nothing I have my high beams on but not sure how it helps for others oh, I love all the variety of weather and actually I think that fog makes everything more beautiful but riding through it is 
like you should be really careful. This is after Christmas apocalypse. They must have celebrated it really hard here. this place so this is where I was launching a drone yesterday remember this beautiful views there are a lot of green mountains and twisty roads all around the place and there is also a small town down there <laughs> that's, that's that's how it looks like today but I love that but I also love that I had my time to watch the view yesterday. Okay, hello fog. Hello fog. Oh wow. Oh wow. Fun fact about motorcycles in Guatemala. Uh, motorcyclists do not greet each other here. In US or Russia or some other countries, if motorcyclists see each other, they wave or do a hand signal, something to show that they appreciate sharing the same passion. This is absolutely not the case in Guatemala, where a motorcycle is just a casual, casual transport because it is cheap and convenient and there are so many of them. Also, I was very much impressed with the style of driving here. People on the roads are very polite, they let others pass, always show their maneuvers with turn signals. That was a surprise for me, I expected the road situation to be super chaotic. My most healthy breakfast in the world. Cookies with water. It's a Christmas breakfast, but everything is closed and I left my freeze-dried food uh, in Antigua. Mm, they good?
on Christmas everything is closed. I miss my freeze-dried meals. Hopefully I'll find something closer to noon. Uh, but there is something more to the local food here. Guatemalans have some very special skill to make the food look beautiful. I can relate to it so much. On the other hand, it is hard for me to find food sometimes here because I do not eat meat and local cuisine is all about meat and chicken. My lunch slash breakfast. How cool is that? For the rest of the day, I was riding through some very beautiful mountain roads, but filming failed because I did not set up the camera properly, as you can see, so I was just filming my front wheel. to the town of Queen where I'm going to spend a couple of nights and explore the area a little bit yeah going to be fun and it's finally warm after I, I was riding in the rain in the rain and clouds the whole day and it was pretty cold because all of that was pretty high up in the mountains Yeah, I'm almost there at my destination for a couple of days. Yay! Yay! Enduro! 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 Come on! Enduro! 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 Up, up! Hey doggy. Hotel Dirty Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, where do I park? Okay, let me park here first. Dogs, you see hundreds, if not thousands, of motorcycles every day, and you still bark at me. How can that be? Up, up, up.
This is my hotel for a couple of nights. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next Sunday.